Megatron Manga. Just found your channel via a friend. Not comparing myself to Greg, but I've had a very similar experience. I contacted John Hancock on the 8th of August 2017 with some Commodore Amiga games and programs I had for sale. There were 37 games and a dozen programs from Paint 2 Educational. I couldn't find any information on the worth and it was hard to get an answer from Facebook groups. I emailed John Hancock back and forth with him finally telling me people are tossing these games in the bin as old computer games and they're a dime a dozen. He said I could contact his friend Jason, Metal Jesus, but he would most likely say the same thing. End of the day, I sent them free of charge with postage paid. The last correspondence I had from John Hancock was on the 14th of August, 2017. See, he mentions the 8th of August and then the 14th of August, a week later. John wrote, Please make sure you pack the games well, as these will be displayed in a museum in the very near future and need to be pristine. Also, please consider helping make this museum possible by joining me on Patreon. Even a dollar a month helps. Yep, I got sucked in, and this has caused me to hate the video game community and YouTube as a whole. In saying this, I have subscribed to your channel. Well, um, just like the story with Greg, and to follow you up on Greg, I, I'll just take a second to tell you about the Greg story, if you don't know. Well, Greg had a rare uh, Japanese Sega Sonic the Hedgehog cart, and it wound up being worth about $500 to $700. Now, he contacted John Hancock. John Hancock said, you know, those Japanese games, nobody really likes those, not that big of a deal. Just like this instance where he says, oh, those are just old computer games, nobody cares about those. And uh, he wound up sending it to John Hancock. Then he talked to someone else and found out that it was actually worth $500 to $700. So you see another instance of this. The other story was actually verified. Another instance of this to where John Hancock is basically getting shit for free. So if you contact John Hancock and you have something for sale, anything for sale, unless it's like something like obvious that he can't like fool you on or screw you over on like, oh, I got a stadium events cart. You know, he knows he's not going to get you there. But if it's something like obscure, you know, if it's something that you have trouble finding out how much is worth, do not ask fucking John Hancock. He will lie to you. Do not ask Metal Jesus. He will lie to you also. The mere fact that he said, hey, if you contact Metal Jesus, he'll, he'll tell you the same thing. That means these motherfuckers are in cahoots. They are in cahoots. And, uh... What is really disgusting about this is this act kind of actually verifies what is, uh, well, the museum is basically a fraud. This kind of verifies it because what did John say in that note? Uh, other than just saying, please make sure you pack the games well. Okay, okay, hold the fuck up. If these games are not worth anything and they're a dime a dozen, why is he saying, please, please pack the games well. Make sure to be really careful with the games, you know. He's probably smiling and grinning when he says that. <laughs> uh, they'll be displayed in the museum. Okay, if they're worth a dime a dozen, then why the fuck are they going to, you know, why are they so important to him? Uh, I bet he's looking at that, you know, lot that he got from Megatron Manga and like, you know, this motherfucker. I took him to the cleaners. But it's not your fault, Megatron Manga, because people put their faith in old smiley pies. Smiley Pies comes on his YouTube videos, and he just seems like the perfect kind of fella, you know? I mean, I looked at I looked at him, and I was like, oh, man, you know, even me, even me of all people, it started to affect me, so that's, that's how good of a fucking manipulator this motherfucker is. And uh, the museum, making the museum possible, okay, so wait, 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 he's definitely going to do the museum, he wants him for the museum, he's trying to tell everybody the museum is definitely going to happen then why is he also over here trying to tell people they need to give money to his Patreon to make the museum possible? And he's double dipping. He's double dipping because not only is the museum scam, the museum con, let's call it what the fuck it is, not only is he getting all these free games from people, these rare games, you know, because people think, oh, I've got this game that maybe no one else has. This will be great in the museum. Uh, sending them him these games under false pretenses. Not only that, okay, he they're not getting any money for it because he doesn't want to give a fucking dollar, not a dollar of money, but he's out here probably conning people just like you and Greg, and on top of that, he's got a little note 
being smart to you, of course, telling you to please pack everything nice, and asking you for Patreon funds. You're sending John the games, and he's asking you for more on top of the fucking free games. He remembers the 8th of August, 2017. To you, you probably don't even fucking remember. You don't remember. You've conned so many goddamn people, you probably don't fucking remember. And the worst thing is, now Megatron Manga is just kind of, you know, he's hating the video game community, you know? So you push this person to hate the video game community because, uh, and if people wonder why, hey, Rick, why do you tend to go after like a, a lot of the bigger fish? It's because if you search something or game collecting on YouTube, guess who fucking pops up? Okay. It's not CM Retro. It's Metal Jesus. It's John Hancock. It's all these people that are, you know, up there that are getting recommended on YouTube. It's these people that get recommended. So people stumble on these channels and they don't go no, they don't know that there's a vibrant community of modders, of people interested in the retro gaming community. You know, Rocker Gaming, he's a great channel. He does a lot of modding. You know, there's all these great channels. A lot of people that come here, people don't know about these channels because they're hidden. They're they're hidden under a blanket of bullshit from all these other channels that are goddamn conning people. 